Castle. Castle, 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 castle. Castle. Eh, it's alright. If you've seen any of my past videos, you probably know the story behind it already. The year is 1979. The big brains over at LEGO have come up with one of the best ideas that has ever graced the company. LEGO themes. But what you didn't know is that's me caught in 4K making an ass of myself. It was actually released in 1978, but nevertheless, it was one of the original themes. And from its inception, it's featured multiple different factions. The concept was taken much further as the years went on, with things like the Peter Pan cosplayers, the Bad Hair Day Boys, the Furries, On all levels except physical, I am a wolf. And of course, the Fellas. Today, we're going to be looking at the OG lineup. Only three sets on release. Ooh, that's kind of small. But as I've been reminded plenty of times in my life, the size doesn't matter. I'm just really bad. So join me, fellas, as we take a closer look at a colourful castle, a tantalising tournament, and the lads after we've just pillaged a village and committed multiple war crimes. Best day of my life. We'll start with the largest of the three. Set 375, simply titled Castle. 767 pieces with a love for 2x1 yellows. It comes with an entire squad. 14 minifigures, 5 of these happy humans are rocking a halberd and chest plates sporting their yellow and pink insignia. They also have the helmet that would go on to become an icon of Lego Castle. These two are basically the same, they just swapped out the halberd for the good old trusty sword and board. One thing I forgot to mention is that all of these insignias are unfortunately stickers, which as we all know is a massive sin. Moving on, we have another knight, but rocking a different helmet, with a white visor. They look really cool, but they're about as strong as my marriage after payday. No, 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 no! Wait, 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 wait! Wait, 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 wait! Up next, we have two blokes in red, sporting a blue and yellow insignia. Couple of fellas in black, sporting a yellow and green insignia. And finally, two geezers in all white, rocking a red and white insignia. Onto the castle itself. If you look really closely, you might have noticed that this castle is very yellow. Remember the joke from a few years ago about Lego characters living in houses made of their own flesh? Well, this takes it one step further by being the same skin colour too. You do get a sprinkling of light grey, red, black, and of course the green base plates to break up the blinding yellow. I don't usually comment on the build experience. I mean, it's putting Lego parts together, I don't really see how one can be better than the other. But oh boy. To sum this one up, just take a look at the part count. Play feature wise, you have a winch that controls the front gate. This would go on to be used countless times in future castle sets. If the front's not quite doing it for you and you want to spice things up, you could always lay siege to the rear instead. Although that can take a lot of convincing. Because of this 4x1 keeping the doors shut, I'd give the overall look of the castle a bussing out of 10. It can open up because why not? The main problem comes with displaying this thing. Due to the designer's favourite colour, it doesn't really fit in with anything else even from its own theme. It just stands out like a lemon. Even the minifigures don't blend well thanks to the old chest plate and visor that were never used again. I know it probably sounds like I'm being a bit too harsh, but bear in mind the next castles were 6073 and 6080, which was a massive jump in aesthetics. Would I recommend this set though? Oh yeah, simply because it is so recognisable and I'm sure it reminds a lot of people of their childhoods. One thing to note is the horses used in these old builds. They're not your typical single-piece, sturdy, beautiful stallions used in the later sets. Oh no. These ones are actually the biggest inspiration for the horses in Minecraft, with their blocky faces and long bodies. Next up, we have set 6083, Knight's Tournament. 210 pieces and once again featuring the horses that were dropped at birth. You have six squad members, a man dressed in only his finest red tracksuit, and dare I say, an amazing haircut. He's on a date with this fair maiden, showing off to the peasants her finest jewellery. Two guards who stand watch to protect the nobility as he spits some of the loosest game known to men. You know, I've got Cloud City waiting in the bedroom, just saying. And the two knights participating in the joust. A fair chunk of the small part count is used on this actually surprisingly well-made viewing stand. It even uses colours really well, with the white and red roof. Flags on either side with a completely different insignia than the other sets. This one is deadass really good. The tree is somewhat suggestive, and it's lacking the long divider that separates the lanes in a joust. But I'd argue this is the best set of the original lineup. Finally, we have the set I've mentioned before in a previous video. The Knight's Battle Pack featuring a tiny cart. Also known as set 6077 Knight's Procession. 
There's actually a bit of debate online when it comes to this set. It's either the lads getting kicked out of our local pub and then going on to game end and steal from the locals, or it's a game end at night in the cart and it's a funeral procession. But all we know is, you get six blokes. Four with the standard helmet and black legs, and the other two with the chin guard helmet and grey legs. There's really nothing I can say about this one. It's hard to mess up a cart. It's got wheels, it's got weapons, and it's got expensive. I uploaded a video on Wednesday if you missed it, so don't forget to check it out. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. But thanks for watching, fellas. I hope you enjoyed a look into my personal favourite theme of all time. Let me know what you guys want to see next. I'm making a list of all the suggestions, but I'll be seeing you next Sunday, fellas. Take care.